Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with my Sprint Galaxy Nexus to do a video showing you how to install the official Signage Mod 9 Alpha One ROM for your Galaxy Nexus. I'm not too sure why they call it an Alpha One ROM as um, there really are no bugs just because I think it is because it's an initial release and they kind of want to make sure that it gets the full run through before it's uh, a beta or completely official stable. So anyways, um, this will show you how to install it. First of all, prerequisites, you need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked. I will link to that video in the description uh, below. So make sure your bootloader is unlocked. And once your bootloader is unlocked, we're actually ready to go. Um, that's pretty much all you need at the moment uh, right away. And next, what we're going to need to do is uh, flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. It is recommended that we um, flash this ROM with Clockwork Mod Recovery to familiarize yourself with it. Um, if you do have twerp, um, I do recommend flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery before you install this ROM just so because installing uh, Sign Engine Mod 9 will actually overwrite twerp and install Clockwork Mod, at least that's my understanding. So go ahead and power off your device as uh, I just did there. And once you do, press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. That's going to take you into the bootloader. Um, and now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and plug in your device. So go ahead and plug in your phone. Um, you're also going to need to make sure to do this, you're going to need to make sure you have the SDK tools installed on your PC. I will link to a video to do that in the description of the video. And once you do that, you're going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to the Science of Mod Nexus site, um, as you can see. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and download a few files. So scroll down under download here. This will be where it, it's, where it is at, actually. So you'll see this download. Um, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and first click on where it says Toro Plus version of CWM right there. Click on that and download it. That'll start downloading. And while that's downloading, might as well start downloading um, the ROM and the G apps as well. So uh, where it says from here, click on here. Um, it'll open up a new tab, and as you can see, it'll take you to the to this site. What I recommend doing is installing the Snapshot, CM Snapshot, uh, which is basically the stable version. Nightly can potentially have bugs. Um, if you want to try and flash a Nightly, you can. I recommend doing Snapshot, though. So um, go ahead and click on that zip file, download that as well, and then go back to that site we were just on and click on this... Uh, a bunch of letters and numbers this is an MD5. So I'm click on that. It'll actually do a Google search for you of that. Uh, once it takes you to Google, I recommend going to the goo.im slash g apps right here and click on that. And then usually up at the top here, you'll see signs of my nine right up here. This top link right here, this 2012-422. Click on that link right there. It'll start downloading your G apps. So you're going to need the ROM file, your G apps, and along with that recovery image from Clockwork Mod. And once uh, that recovery image is done, we're ready to go. Um, go ahead and you go, go into your downloads folder where it should be anyway. It might not, but it should be wherever that download is. As you can see, recovery clockwork 5.8.3.1. Toro Plus. Um, I recommend renaming it just to make everything easier. So rename that uh, recovery file CWM581. I forgot what the numbers were. Um, um, I believe it is 58. Let me move real quick and find out. Sorry about this. 5831. So um, Clockwork Mod 5831. Just so you know what the version is, um, in case you have it, you have to go back to it. You know what version it is, but it's easier to type in if it's not that long name. So what we can do now is, in, while in your downloads folder, you can actually right uh, hold the Shift key on your keyboard and right click, and then hit Open Command Window here. So hit Open Command Window. It's going to go ahead and open a command prompt. So of course we have the phone and the bootloader and we have it plugged in. So what we're gonna first need to do is type in fast boot devices just to make sure that our PC recognizes our phone. As you can see right here, got a bunch of letters and numbers. Of course you're gonna need the SDK tools installed to be doing these commands. Um, as I said, I'll link to that. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, just, all we have to do is basically flash this image. So type fast boot flash recovery space CWM5831 dot img so what we renamed it to as you can see we renamed it to this file if you didn't rename it just type in the original file name so i mean it's up to you if you want to rename it to anything so the command is fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the file dot img 
press enter, it'll go ahead and send the recovery to your device. Um, and once done there, we're actually ready to go. Uh, don't reboot your phone yet, just go back to your phone actually. All right, and once we're back to our phone, I just kind of want to make sure you guys double check that the clockwork model recovery flashed correctly. So press the volume down button once, twice. So press it twice and it will take you to recovery mode. Then press the power button to select it. The reason I'm having you do this is just to double check and make sure that uh, when you typed in the command, it flashed the clockwork mod recovery correctly. I had Torp on my device before I just did this command, so it should have overwritten the Torp recovery and I should now have clockwork mod 5.8.3.1 as I do right down here. So as you can see, clockwork mod 5831. So um, to navigate, in case you were wondering, you use the volume up and down buttons to navigate through the menu and you press the power button to select. So as you can see, I'm volume up and down and I'm gonna reboot system now, which I recommend you doing and press the power button. So just go ahead and press the power button. As I said, I only wanted you guys to do that to double check and make sure you had the um, clockwork mod flash correctly. But once that reboots, um, we are just about ready to go. We actually just need to have it mount so we can transfer those other two files over the ROM and the G apps. So I'm gonna let this boot up and I'll be back. All right, so my phone has booted back up. As you can see, connected as a media device. It should pop up automatically on your PC as recognized so we can transfer files over. So go back to your PC. All right, so as you can see, it popped up as an autoplay. You can just exit out of it. What we're gonna need to do is go back into that downloads folder and under downloads, as you can see, I had that clockwork mod image file along with the G apps and the ROM file itself. So the ROM file, the G apps is the other two files we need. Both of them are zip files. Don't unzip them or anything. All you have to do is click and drag both of them onto your Galaxy Nexus and just drop it on down onto your Galaxy Nexus. So, um, I mean, you can put, you can say whatever you want. I'm just gonna hit cancel and then it should transfer. Whoop, I didn't wanna hit cancel actually. I'm gonna click and drop them. I'm just gonna hit no. So what that's gonna do is just transfer those zip files on over. As you can see, it'll take a little bit of time as uh, it's a ROM and G apps as well. So it'll transfer it over to your internal storage of your device. And once done, I'll be back. All right, so those files are done transferring. You can go ahead and unplug your Galaxy Nexus from your PC. And what we're gonna need to do is just power off our device again. The reason being because we need to get into our now newly flashed clockwork mod recovery, our custom recovery. So go ahead and let it power off. Once it powers off, once again, we're gonna need to press and hold volume down, uh, volume up and power button at the same time, all three buttons, press and hold them. You'll feel it vibrate and then it should take you into the bootloader again. Once we are here, what we're gonna to need to do is press volume down button twice and we're gonna hit recovery mode. So we are gonna hit recovery mode. Um, this uh, actually, this install will wipe all your data. So make sure you have um, everything backed up that you need, your apps, your contacts, etc. cetera. Um, just make sure you do have everything backed up. So there we go. As you can see, we are now in clockwork mod recovery 5.8.3.1. We are gonna zoom in right here. And here is the commands we need to follow to install this ROM. So first of all, I highly recommend going to backup and restore and select backup. So that'll make an Android backup. I highly recommend doing so. Um, you don't have to, obviously, but I do highly recommend doing that, so make sure you go do that now. Uh, once you're done making that backup, hit go back, and now what we're gonna need to do is hit wipe data factory reset and select it with the power button, and then go, and, go ahead and hit yes, delete all user data. So as I said, it's gonna go ahead and wipe everything, so make sure that everything is backed up. Um, so the data is gonna be wiped, it'll take a little bit of time. All right, as you can see, data wipe complete. Uh, go ahead and go back now and hit wipe cache partition. So select wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. That'll be a lot shorter as it's not wiping data. So once uh, done formatting your cache, it should go back to that menu once again. Cache wipe complete. We are ready to go almost actually. So go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So that won't take long at all, as you can see. So once done there, we've wiped our data, we've wiped our cache, we've wiped our Dalvik cache, hit go back, and then go ahead and install zip from SD card. Select that and then hit choose zip from SD card. Basically what we're gonna need to do first is find that ROM zip itself, that uh, CM9 ROM zip update CM9 right there. So go ahead and select that and hit yes, install. It's gonna go ahead and install the ROM itself this will uh, take a bit of time, so you're definitely gonna need to be patient with the ROM install. Don't reboot once it's done. 
Um, as you can see, it's installing the, the ROM zip, and I will be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. The ROM file is done installing. Now go ahead and hit choose it from SD card once again and find that G Apps ICS zip and select the G Apps. The G Apps is basically the Google Apps add on that will give you the Play Store and other Google Apps such as Google Talk and such. And go ahead and hit yes, install. So um, the process is wipe data cache, Dalvi cache, and then flash the ROM and then flash the G Apps right after you flash the ROM. So uh, make sure you have the Play Store and all those uh, good Google apps. So the Google apps will take a little bit of time, not as long as the ROM, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now what we're going to need to do is hit go back and then reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your device and that would be it. So that's all you have to do to install the CyanogenMod 9 ROM on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So it'll go ahead and load up. I'm gonna let you guys check out the boot animation, which should be the signage of my nine boot animation. But uh, once done there, I'm gonna actually do a separate review video. I will link to that in the description of the video going over all things about the ROM, etc. So be sure to check out that. I'll link to that in the description. But there we go. So we got our signage of my nine boot animation. The first boot's gonna take a little bit of time since it's a clean ROM install. Uh, but there we have it. So signage mod 9, very cool boot animation. Uh, check out my review video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.